Hi guys, uh, here's my uh, metal detector project uh, in operation. This is the um, Mini Pulse Plus. You can uh, check out this particular design on the uh, Geotech forums. And you can buy a kit of parts if you wanted to build it as a kit. Anyway, just a quick uh, video to show how it works. Um, unfortunately, the uh, in my house there's a lot of uh, steel mesh under the floors. A lot of the house was tiled originally, so it's got a lot of steel mesh under the floors, and it's very hard to test anything indoors in this place. I'm not sure, but I've raised the uh, coil right off the ground on a uh, basket there to uh, allow for uh, testing. I've got a little uh, sound recorder there close to the detector and I'll add the sound in later if necessary. Anyway, here we go with some uh, tests. First test I'll use a um, where are we? Australian 20 cent coin which is that there. Um, should you take that at least 30 centimeters? You can see the markings on the detecting the camera. Bit, bit more than 30 centimeters. Okay, what else can we try? This is a small speaker. We're getting that at about 40 centimeters. Here's a uh, metal detector. This is the actual case that I built my detector into. Got a spare one here, which is uh, going to have a receiver built into it. I would have thought I would have picked that up a bit further than that. Let's say that's about 65 centimeters. Um, I'll do a, a ring. I'll use my ring on my finger, so obviously. Detectors picking up the camera by the looks of things. The detectors have to hold the camera a little bit further away. Possibly getting a little bit less than 30 there, about 28. Just turn the threshold down a little bit. Um, I have picked this same ring up at 30 centimeters um, in the past. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a weak 30 centimeters anyway. Okay, we've got a couple more targets here. Small uh, ring again. Looks like gold. Hopefully it's gold, not really sure though. Um, here we go.
It's a good signal at 20 centimetres. Yeah. Just detecting it at 30. Detector's getting a little bit of interference there from something. Just detects it at 30. What else can we try? I know I haven't got one here now, but a, a paint can. A 4 litre paint can will detect that at 1 metre easily. Um, what else have I tried? Uh, average coin's about 30, 30 centimetres, um, one foot, in the, uh, if you're in America. That's the lid from my metal detector. It's just detecting it just over 60. Just detecting it there. At 50, obviously, it detects it quite clearly. 40, definitely. 30, 20, 10. This detector does have uh, a self-adjusting threshold. I'll demonstrate that. We'll put this here. The detector will adjust itself to that. And then it'll still still detect another object, which is quite handy. Most of the other pulse induction detectors that I've used, if you put anything close to them, they just uh, they won't receive anything else. So we'll put that a little bit close. I'll put that at 10 centimeters. Uh, detectors uh, adjusted the threshold. Move the speaker in there and it detects that. So that's quite good. It's detecting the um, speaker at about 35 centimeters. You know, take that metal away from the detector. Thirty-five centimeters. It's about the same as when the metal was there, so it's quite good. I'll try moving that a little bit closer again. There we go. Put that really close in now. Wait for the detector to self-adjust. And it still detects. Let's try something a little bit more savvy. Ooh. Put that right up against the detector. Wait for the detector to self-adjust. And it's detecting again. Kind of affects it. Once it, uh, obviously once it detects this speaker, when I take the speaker away, it kind of re-detects the lid. <laughs> it's detecting the lid and it's self-adjusting again. That is a cool little feature. Take, I'll try something a little different. There we go, try that. <clears throat> That's cool. That's a small gold ring again.
I'm going to have to adjust the threshold a little bit. Try this other little ring here. It's about 30 centimeters. The detector's got a uh, threshold control here. As you advance it, it goes from Slight crackle to mind you, even at the high, even at a high setting like that, the detector still still detects. There's no so even on a very high threshold, it still works. But uh, I found that the best sensitivity is when the uh, when it's just crackling a little bit like about there somewhere I find that to be the, the most sensitive part um, apart from that we've got a delay control here sampling delay this is a very short sampling delay of about six uh, six and a half seven and you can advance it all the way to this end where it's about uh, I think it's 55 or 60 sampling delay pot is actually used to help discriminate between say aluminium and gold it's not the best system in the world um, it does help a little bit it um, gives you less of a response to aluminium tabs when you uh, set it um, normally if you've got a reasonably good coil fast coil you you tend to have it at uh, at or near the minimum delay setting. That's where it's most sensitive to um, small pieces of gold, um, which is what you basically what I'm going to use it for anyway. That coil up there is a uh, Coil Tech coil made made here in Australia by a company called Coil Tech, obviously. Um, that's an 11 inch coil, I believe. Uh, commercial uh, coil. These are used on mine labs and, and that. Uh, seems to work fine on this detector. I um, haven't actually adjusted the damping resistor yet. Uh, although I did make it larger. I think the original one was uh, 470 ohms. I think I increased that to about uh, 800 ohms or 850 ohms, something like that and checked it on my oscilloscope and it didn't look like it was ringing so I left it at that but I want to uh, make up a variable resistor and actually do the proper damping coil setup find the exact value and then replace it with uh, with a proper value so it may it may even improve a little bit once I've done that I'm not sure but um, yeah it's a very uh, it's a nice little detector, I'm very happy with it. Well, in the last two years I built a couple of surf PIs. I built a um, Chance pulse induction detector as well. Um, I built the Barracuda. Um, and I'm very, very happy with this one. I think this one's the, the nicest uh, so far. Uh, surf PI is a very nice detector, very uh, simple. But um, I do like, I rather like this one, uh, particularly I like the uh, self-adjusting threshold. I think that's a great feature. I've ordered a few different op amps that I want to try in this particular detector to see if I can get an improvement um, in the way it performs. Uh, but yeah, all in all, it's a great little detector. Um, <clears throat> 
I don't have any intentions of mounting this on a uh, handle. Um, this will be hip mounted. I'll made a, make up a little case for it, little leather case, and it just slips into the case and strap it around your neck and we just basically hip mounted. When I say hip mounted, it'll actually be resting on my stomach so I've got access to the controls and everything. And um, I don't have to carry the weight of this on my arm. Um, it's also handy uh, if you wanted to use it with larger coils or uh, you know even if you want to use it with a small pinpointer coil and just sort of uh, searching little gaps between rocks in a creek bed it's handy to have the detector just like that you can just sit it on a rock and then just go probing around with your little probe